Well, we can go scream cry in the forest over there. We could scream cry into that white pillow, but we don't want to get makeup on that. Or there's an outhouse back that way. We could go scream cry in there for a while if we'd like. Those are our options. Remember that time we sold all our shit and bought a van to live out of it? Remember when we did that? <laughs> that was hilarious. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, we try editing and uploading a video off-grid. When we find out that's gonna take three and a half hours, we become a spicy hot mess. But silver lining, I have three and a half hours to clean out my van. Subscribe for daily videos. Oh, good morning. Just manspreading over here. Sometimes I like to manspread first thing. Take that big dick energy into the day. <laughs> let there be light. Okay, I'm seeing myself on the screen and let there be less light, please this morning. Not cute. I'm not ready for my close up, but I am ready to open my door and see where we're at. Oh my goodness. Is that a woodland paradise? Why, yes it is. Thank you for asking. Oh, there's little flowers over there. We're gonna check those out later. Like little baby globe mallows. Still wearing yesterday's makeup. I got in late, late last night. I don't even know what time it is, but I'm at Bryce Canyon. I think technically this is Panguitch, but we're in the mountains near Bryce Canyon. I'm back in Utah. I just can't get enough of Utah. There was an extreme heat weather advisory, like everywhere pretty much is gonna be in the hundreds, except for up in the mountains. So instead of staying in Page, Arizona, which I had plans to do a few things there, it's gonna be really hot. So I decided to drive north. And here we are in the magical, magical Penguitch, Utah. I was riding the struggle bus hardcore yesterday trying to find internet. So first thing today, make sure I have my internet situation solved. I don't wanna be sitting in that McDonald's parking lot at 10 p.m. Do you wanna explore out here a little bit? At the very least, go check out those wildflowers. And also find a place to Jimmy Riddle. One of you guys said that their grandma calls peeing at Jimmy Riddle. What a lovely morning it is. It's time for a java walk. Oh, nothing. Just dumping out my own urine into the wilderness. Are those cicadas? I thought cicadas were in like really hot areas. Look at these flowers just kind of sprouting up all over the place. I thought this was Globe Mallow. This is not Globe Mallow, but it is pretty though. Oh, good morning to you too, friend. Yellow guy. And then straight up fresh. Humans are disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna do coffee at the coffee shop this morning and upload a video. Yesterday was so stressful. I just have to get all my work done first thing in the day. Get it up. Maybe we'll go for a hike later. I don't know. I'm trying not to plan too much because then I just get very disappointed. I had this like whole route planned. Oh, hummingbird. I love hummingbirds. I seriously have nature ADD, sorry. I had this whole beautiful route plan. I was gonna do all these fun hikes and it's just this heat wave is killing all my vibes. So let's head to the town, find a little coffee shop. I just started to decide that life is working for me and not against me. So the whole page thing didn't work out yesterday, but I'm feeling this morning. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling Bryce Canyon. I'm feeling these forest vibes. I'm feeling those early morning flowers. Hello to you too. I'm also feeling some mad I need to clean my van vibes later. I'm just gonna get everything in drive mode real quick and we'll head into town. Oh, I love getting into a place at night and then driving around in the morning. just set up the solar panels, charge the Jackery, and run off of that. I don't know, it's such a pain in the dick. All this internet stuff. All right, we had to improvise a little bit. I have my computer plugged in to a little mini Jackery out here. Got 75 watts coming in. And then I just have one solar panel plugged in facing the sun should be good so i totally could be editing off grid right now but i do need internet to upload if i can get like a week ahead and just have one upload day a week where i go find starbucks in a city with fast internet my life will be changed forever still editing the coffee shop just closed so i'm sitting in my van sweating my balls off where's the starbucks at can somebody please navigate me to starbucks any coffee shop that is open past 2 p.m. preferably. I love van life. 
This is great. I love this. My computer's like overheating and running really f***ing slow. It's so f***ing hot. Why is it so hot? I just have to sit here in the AC all day long. I'm going to resume this video in a couple days. I'm going to spend tonight and tomorrow editing videos. Not going to film anything. Just going to edit and get a bunch of videos done. This is driving me crazy. My computer's going so slow. This is so f***ing hot outside. I can't even edit my vlog because it's going so slow. It's like so glitchy. <sighs> my soul has left my body and I'll see you when it returns. We're exporting right now. Just made lunch. Ugh, so f***ing hot. I'm gonna edit, edit, edit today and tomorrow and then drive as far north as humanly possible in one day. So I'm probably not gonna vlog a ton of it. Maybe I'll vlog little things here and there, but I'll catch you on the flip side. You know what, actually screw it. We're vlogging, we're vlogging this shitty stupid day. Deal with it. Sharing these days where I'm just editing is hella boring, but we're doing dailies, we're committed, we're doing it. And if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. It's going to take three hours to upload this video. Three hours of my life sitting in this hot van. Three hours. I don't want to do it. My internet speed in my old apartment building uploaded my videos in between four and ten minutes every time. Every time. I really want to get a Wi-Fi device in the van. The really good ones are like $500. So saving up for that. What else do I need? I need better weather. So we're going to drive up north. And my computer is getting so hot. It's running so slow. The edit took me like three times as long as typical because it's just so glitchy. I also need a new computer. <sighs> I'm trying really hard to cry, but you have to have a soul in your body to cry. Well, silver lining, I have three hours to clean up my van. The thing is too, I can't really edit as it's uploading because my computer just runs so freaking slow. So three hours right now I could spend editing tomorrow's video, but I cannot do that. Sweet baby Starbucks Jesus, help me find internet. My computer's overheating. We're going three days without a shower. I'm two degrees away from heat stroke and I don't even have a boyfriend. I want to charge my Jackery, but I can't because it's cloudy as outside. Remember that time we sold all our shit and bought a van to live out of it? Remember when we did that? <laughs> That was hilarious. That was a really fun time. Really fun time. Um, so I would like to move my computer closer to the Ristorante so as to increase the YouTube upload speed, but it's about to rain and I'm about to run out of power. Oh, we're not putting it under that. What if we just set it right here? What do you think the odds are if I just left my computer right there, went and hiked Bryce Canyon and came back, that my computer would still be there? I'd say 50-50. I'm gonna clean my van. Oof, that is crazy. Anybody, do you know where Starbucks is? Anybody, do you know where Starbucks is? Someone, I'm badly in need of a Starbucks. Do you know where Starbucks is? Oh, that way, okay. Well, okay, what can we do? What can we do right now? Let's. Let's turn this negative into a positive, shall we? Ooh, okay. Cool, it's getting windy, I love that. Okay, negative into a positive, negative into a positive. Well, we can go scream cry in the forest over there. We could scream cry into that white pillow, but we don't wanna get makeup on that. Or there's an outhouse back that way. We could go scream cry in there for a while if we'd like. Those are our options. See, we have lots of options. Positivity, positivity. Yeah. Looking a little stormy, I don't know. Two hours and 30 minutes. Help me. Okay, all right. I was almost just a litter bug. Paper towels blowing away in the wind. So one Jackery is dead. The other Jackery is now charging my fridge. Cause either I upload a video right now or I have food for the next five days. We uploading a video cause that's how committed I am to this channel and this journey and to you. Right now I'm going to point out five things that I like. Five things that are going well in my life, okay? Ooh, flowers. I do like pine trees. Well, that's pretty. I don't live in a shed, so that's nice. That rash is finally gone. On my lips, I had a rash right here on my lip. I think I'm going insane. Going crazy. We're having fun. We're enjoying this. Should we try again? Okay, we're getting 12 watts. That's something. Guess we can throw away our garbage. Aren't you happy you subscribed to this challenge so you could watch me throw away my trash? Maybe if you're lucky, we'll throw this one away later. I wonder if my extension cable 
to reach all the way out there because I have to leave my fridge plugged in. Made that mistake before. Let's see, but will it reach? Mm, that's a new. Good lordy, lordy, lord. So I'm gonna wash out my dishes. My salad bowl has been sitting under this towel for about a week with roughage in it. So that's neat. All right, we're just gonna get all the garbage out of this van. This is a serious positive. We are getting this van spick and span. I think that's gonna make me feel a whole lot better about life. Oh shit. The panties, my friend, are blowing in the wind. Everything's blowing out of my goddamn van. While I'm cleaning up my own trash, I'm gonna pick up five pieces of other people's trash. Try and pick up five pieces of trash a day. It's just what I do so I can feel like I'm better than you. On a serious note though, I have seen so much trash in the national parks, actually everywhere really. So it just kind of drives me nuts. So people just let their shit fly away in the wind. So yeah, five pieces of trash a day. Well, we've already gotten two pieces of trash. Why don't we find two more? Oh, we're just gonna drive down the street and pick up my ex-boyfriend and his ex-girlfriend because they're both trash. That's four pieces total. It's funny because it's true. I'm kidding. My mom said if you can't say anything nice about people, don't say anything at all. And now I don't talk to my mom. This just got real dark, real fast. Too, too real, too real. Okay, putting the camera away, cleaning, goodbye. It's so beautiful. Someone please, please help me find a Starbucks. Somebody, anybody. Somebody please help me. I'm stranded. I live in a van. Everything's breaking and going to shit. Somebody please find me a Starbucks. I just badly, badly need a Starbucks. How fun, a creepy fellow in his car. Hey. Dang it. He's the nice one. I'm the creepy one in my van. Stealing internet in the middle of nowhere. He works here, so. And trash number five. Don't even want to know what this is. Elon. Please, Elon. I need your internet. Did you ever ask yourself, self, how did I get here? naked and afraid. If there's anything that represents how my day is going, it's this. This is like triple quadruple knotted and I can't get it off. I might finally have to cut this and get rid of macrame. Blessing in disguise. It's been fun macrame. It's been fun. Let me show you some before and afters of my beautiful van. Here's the before, here's the after. Here's the before, here's the after. Here's the before, here's the after. Here's the before, oh Christ. And this is the after. Here's the before, and this is the after. Look exactly the same, I'm just a little more, just a little more angry and a little more sweaty, it's all. Got our emergency pee cups over here in the door. Drinking water, dishes water, laundry, laundry. Cover the base with a blanket. Oh my God, it feels so good. I think that was God's way of just saying, girl, get your shit together and clean your van. So tomorrow first thing, I'm going to finally film my van tour. Did it happen, Armour? It happened. By the way, the nicest guy works here and I highly recommend you stop here on your way through. God, my van has never, ever, ever been this clean. Everything's all full and all pretty. Okay, tomorrow morning, mark my words, I'm filming my van tour. I'm a sweaty mess. I haven't showered in three days. I'm gonna go park it in the woods where it's a little more cool and I'm gonna start editing another vlog until my Jackery dies. Everything in my fridge is gonna spoil. If I don't have a place to charge my Jackery, my phone died, but what I was trying to say is if I don't have a charged Jackery, I cannot plug in my computer and I cannot do any work. It's really helpful to have a Starbucks nearby. They're open later, they have fast internet. That took three and a half hours, but we're okay. We're here, we're good. I really wanna drive into Bryce Canyon and see all the beauty that is there. We're gonna go edit tomorrow's video, get it finished tonight. Right, Armoire? Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Right. Everyone meet Arnie the Armoire. Ernie, you wanna say hi to everyone? Eat a bag of dicks, whore. He's a lovely specimen. This is how bad I need friends on the road. I'm naming my furniture. Oh, we're camping next to some horse friends tonight. That's so cool. This is the spot I was in last night. Oh, it's so pretty back here though. Now let's venture in. More horses. I did not get the horse memo. Who sent out the horse memo? I did not get it. Well, I was gonna go right up here in this little roundabout, but it's not very flat. 
Excuse you, tree. Excuse you. Oh, that's so pretty over there. What a day, what a day. Holy Lord. I'm gonna make a hot tea and chill. Maybe make some food. I don't really have any food. Okay, um, all right. I'm gonna edit till my eyeballs bleed and I'll be back with you shortly. Reminds me of that. Chicago. I even changed my sheets. Actually, I don't even have sheets. I changed my blanket that's on my bed. It's cute. It's from Target. No big deal. I think I like the look of the other one better, but it is hella nasty. Oh my god. Yes. It's so nice here. There is no wind. Oh my god, it's nice and calm. This is exactly what I needed in my life tonight. I can handle editing out here. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> able to be off grid a little more. I am so at peace out in nature. I think I'm going to get solar panels for my roof that stay up there, but they plug into the Jackery. I'll get some sort of mobile Wi-Fi router so I can have internet wherever I am. And that'll solve a lot of my problems because then I can just stay out here all day. Oh, and a place to poo, that too. But if I just like got groceries, I would totally just stay out here for a few days. Are you kidding me? This is so beautiful. Hello, Penguitch slash Bryce Canyon Forest. Thank you for being amazing. Oh, and bug screens. So I can have my lights on and keep my doors open at night and let the breeze in. That would be fabulous. I actually have screen material back here somewhere. I mean, I can't reach it right now, but you believe me, right? Yeah. It's just a big roll of screen. I'm either gonna put Velcro or magnets on it and then I can put them up. Oh my God, the fresh air. This is like kind of interesting to me to see how technology influences our lives and turned me into a crazy person earlier today. And now I'm out in nature and I'm just like so calm, so zen, so peaceful. The f***ing mouse comes in my band though, I swear to God. I've never killed anything besides a spider in my whole life, but I might murder a mouse. I dare you, Fifle. I dare you. I didn't see a mouse, but I did see a chipmunk last time I was here and he was like trying to scope out the van. See, I want to go explore and go walk around, but I have to, I have to do this for my own sanity. Open my YouTube studio app. Oh, by the way, to top off the day, my screen isn't working. Sometimes happens. A boss helped me fix it last time. I don't know how to restart my phone without using the screen. It was some combination of the ups and downs, but then I accidentally just call the police. Help me. And I don't have internet to figure out what that combination is, so I don't have a phone right now, apparently. That's cute. That's real neat. I'm just trying to get my phone to die, so maybe it'll like restart itself. Open my, I don't know how to open my YouTube studio app. I'm just gonna boss it around until it dies. Isn't that how most intimate relationships work? day what a day that was i'm just a spicy hot mess is all oh my god you guys i just edited for the last three hours and i did not finish a video i'm so tired i'm going to bed this has been the story of my life so i like try it and get a little bit ahead i'm just gonna have to like pay someone to edit a few videos or stop vlogging daily vlogs for a second i don't know anyways i'll stop boring you with that conversation Oh, you're broken now. It's not a day in the van life if shit doesn't break and go to f***ing hell. <laughs> Ooh, hi. Whoa, girl. So here we are. It's bedtime again. I put a towel down because I don't want to ruin my white blanket. Yes, I brought white pillows and white blankets into a van. Into the but I do want to say a very sincere thank you to you guys. I just posted a video. I was struggling. I'm about a week and a half ahead of you guys. And I was on the Struggle Town bus big time last week. Like, my Aunt Flo was here. Um, I just lost a bunch of lessons that were supposed to, like, renew. And I was expecting a bunch of money to come in that didn't come in. And I was just like having a hard time and I've been having a hard day today and I just got so many people reaching out and contributing to my channel sending me one-time donations and stuff like that and and a bunch of people had a good idea to start doing YouTube lives which I don't know much about them um but I'm just wondering if you guys would find that fun like every Sunday I do a YouTube live instead of posting a daily vlog that way I'd have a little bit of an editing break and get to connect with you guys a little bit more and I feel like this relationship is very one-sided I just want to show you my nails because they're 
I feel like this relationship is very one-sided between you and me. So I just want this to be a more collaborative experience and I want to get to know you guys a little bit better. You know, it's weird because you guys know a lot about me because I share a lot. I genuinely like, I love learning about you guys too and actually um, having relationships with you guys. Like I've met a lot of cool people uh, through sharing videos on my channel and it's a really cool experience. So it'd be fun to maybe just do a live something or other. I don't know, what, what would I talk about? Just, we would, we would hang out in my van or something. Like, what do we do? Do I have to like take my top off? What do I need? I'm not sure. I don't know how this works. <laughs> um, anyways, this has been a day and a half. Let me tell you what. What's a good word to sum up the day? Hmm. Why does it smell like pee in here? <laughs> oh, I know what it is. My fridge. Oh, my fridge smells so bad. Olive juice leaked down on the bottom and I haven't cleaned it out yet. So every time I open my fridge, it's just a waft of really old olive juice. And there's some like blueberries that fell down there too. Not a nice smell. I need to think of a word to describe today. Hot mess. If you watched to this point in the video, write hot mess down in the comments. It's one of those nights where I'm not entirely sure I'm going to brush my teeth or take my makeup off. Actually, I went to Target and... Oh, I got a brand new makeup remover. These are the things I now get excited about. Like, I'm so happy when I get to go to Target and buy things that just normal people have. Hot Mess Express coming through. Let's just pray the internet gods are on our side tomorrow. And we could do a little Bryce Canyon adventure because it's still hot everywhere else. I'm going to have to go straight from Bryce to Yellowstone, I think, because there's like a heat wave. We'll see. I don't, I don't know what to do with my life, but I do appreciate you hanging out with me. And for those of you who contributed, you really helped not only pull a sister through physically but also the moral support that comes along with that it just helps me to continue in trying times like today so i really appreciate it i'm feeling all the love you guys are sending out my way so thank you for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you loved it share it with your friends this hot mess we'll see you tomorrow